Hello YouTube, today we're going to be installing this 3.1 meter post for this LED PIR floodlight, which you can see under there. Everything on the post has been pre-installed to make life a lot easier once it's actually in. All that has to be done then is just connecting it up. Uh, as you can see, I've treated both ends of the post. This is with a 10 year roof seal. Although the post is pressure treated, when it's in concrete in the ground, it will rot over time and it will weather. So this will give it another 10 years at least. As you can see, I've got a nice angle flowing backwards to keep the rain off, using all stainless steel fixings. The junction box is already connected. So is the armored cable. And at the bottom, we've got some 150 mil um, coach bolts going through, which will bind into the concrete really well to give a nice stable post. And that uh, masking tape you can see around the top, that is the section of um, a roof seal that's going to be above the ground. So any water that comes down or that sits on the bottom there will be kept off the wood. There you have it. Okay, this is the hole that the post is going to go into. I've dug it out to 600mm deep and compacted it with the uh, compactor there. So it's nice and level at the bottom there, all on clay. And the next part of the video, you'll see uh, two bricks in the middle to pin the post and then rubble all around it. And then uh, we'll move on with the next stage. Okay, so here we are now with the hole that has a uh, hundred mil of compacted rubble and two house bricks on their side uh, which will pin the post right in the middle. Um, I've put them on their side simply because the house bricks are a hundred mil wide so I can then fill to the depth of the house bricks and uh, that will give me my hundred mil of rubble that I wanted to give a nice stable base. Right, so now we have our post in the hole that we're going to be putting the concrete in. Um, it's all centered and leveled. And I'll just back away and you can see. There we have it. It's uh, been screwed right in the middle there, just to keep it in place and keep it level. Um, I've had a level on it. And let's have a little look. We can adjust it a little bit afterwards, but as you can see, we're nice and level. Right, we have the first batch of concrete nearly mixed. This is a, a high strength concrete mix, which is one part cement, 1.5 parts sharp sand, and three parts large stones. Use the large stones to give you a little extra strength in there. I've also put this stuff in, which is Seeker No Crack Concrete. It's uh, polypropylene fibers. And also there's a little bag, you can just about see it in there, which is a super plasticizer, which means you can get away with using less water. Uh, it's a very, very thick mix, but it, uh, it's easy to work with and incredibly strong. I've just poured the second load of concrete and tampered it down. Uh, tampering it down gets all the air bubbles out. That's something I did between each load, two loads in all. Uh, brings the cream to the top and uh, makes it nice and smooth as well as getting all the air bubbles out. Um, we're about two inches below the surface of the ground. So in a few days time, when that's gone off completely, I'll come back and then that'll have a, uh, a load of turf put on the top. Um, the post isn't absolutely dead centre, as you can see. It's slightly off, but it's not going to be um, aesthetic because it's going below the surface of the ground. So, to be honest, it really doesn't matter. Um, after each load of concrete that I put in, I check the level. Um, I always do that all the way through just to make sure if it does go out, it's much easier to adjust it earlier on. So, um, the level is absolutely fine. And... Uh, that is the post put in. 
Well, here we are a week later and the concrete has gone off, the tape has been removed from the bottom of the post and the armour cable has been put through a small piece of flexible conduit which now goes into the bottom of the shed and soil has been placed on top of the concrete block itself so it's uh, very discreet and that um, grey roof sealant at the bottom will prevent the uh, water from the ground rotting the post for at least 10 years anyway and here we have our finished PIR LED security light. Hope you enjoyed watching.